Hey everybody and welcome back. Guess what? Today I need your help. I think I found someone who may sing for me and I need you to help me come up with some songs that we could do together, me on guitar and her singing. Um, not just acoustic songs. You can come up with anything. I think we're going to cover some Foo Fighters and Stevie Ray Vaughan and things like that, hopefully, if it works out. So don't be afraid to think outside the box. And, uh, you know, just, just post comments on, on the video here. Let me know what songs you think would be good, and hopefully we'll be getting some on here soon. But in the meantime, let's move on to today's lesson. Uh, we're going to talk about a song by Damien Rice called Volcano. It's a really good song. If you've never heard it, you can check it out. Uh, just search YouTube for Damien Rice Volcano Live at Abbey Road. It's probably my favorite version of it. Um... He plays it acoustically, and that's what I'm going to do, but he does it in a way that's more of an electric technique, so that's what we're going to talk about as well. But anyway, uh, let's get right to it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you the chords to the song and basically how it's laid out. I'm going to leave you to uh, do some improvisation, uh, get into it for the rest. It's in the key of A minor if you want to jam along. The chords in the verse and the chorus, which are going to be the same, uh, are A minor, a quick hit on G major, and then F major. But it's the way that they're played is uh, what makes this a little unique. Uh, we're going to use what we've talked about before, the Hendrix grip, only this time we're going to be using it on acoustic as opposed to electric. It'll definitely work on both though. So we're going to bar A minor here, which will be 5, 7, 7, 5, 5, 5, starting on the low E string. But we're going to do the Hendrix grip. So we're going to take our first finger down and just bar across five on the E, B, and G string, strings one, two, and three. We're going to come over the top of the neck with our thumb to get the fifth fret on that low E string. Play an A minor like that. It can be difficult sometimes, uh, especially if your acoustic has a fatter neck, but um, really good for strength building and a good technique, so just keep practicing. You'll get it. It'll be a quick walk down through G major which uh, will be, uh, let's see, three, five, five, four, three, three. Yes, that's correct. So that middle finger is going to be coming on here in that major, and then the same thing on the F major, the same bar over the top and the middle finger there, okay? So let's see what that sounds like. And then walk back up through G. Okay. Now he throws a little lick in there from time to time that I'm going to show you when you're boring uh, on this A minor. Take your pinky off and hammer on the G string, hammer on and pull off on 7. So it'll be 5-7-5 five, five, basically on the G string. And then just back to the strum. So like... kind of varies up how many times he does it and where he does it so it's kind of free to your own interpretation and the same can be said as the as you hit the G down and back up he kind of varies when it comes in and how many times he hits it so again feel free to improvise there there's also a lick when he's playing the F major which is just uh, your middle finger hammering on and pulling off to open two to open Now, that's don't hold yourself like that, you know, as you sing through the verse. Then the change is going to come, and the lyrics are, don't build your world around. Now, when that comes in after you're down on the F, you're just going to walk up to a G and an F, and they're going to get half time as the other chords. You'll see what I mean as I play them. They're going to go a little quicker. So you're walking down to the, the F. This is the change. It's just G and F. Don't build. got to kind of get a hit there to stop it and then it's going to be right into the chorus what I am to you is not real and that's going to be right back on the A again that's the chorus and you know you'll just come right back in the verse the 
chorus ends with you give me miles and miles of mountains and I ask for the C. And you can kind of hit that F again and then go right back up to the, to the A minor, okay? And then you'll do the change again. After the second time you do that comes the bridge, which is the only real change in the song. And it's eight, it's uh, eight bars long, okay? First part of the bridge, these are all going to be open chords. This is the only part of the song that's open chords. The C, G, A minor, and F. And then the next four bars are C, E major, I'm sorry, E major, A minor, and F. So it's uh, in the, the lyric that comes in with this, the signal is, it's what I give to you. So it's after you're doing um, this change part, don't build your world around. Volcanoes melt you down. What I give to you. Then C, E, ma e major, A minor, and F. This is the outro where both Damien Rice and the girl whose name unfortunately I don't know are singing together, singing different things and uh, he just keeps repeating she's still too young and it's going to be the exact same as the verse. I know that was kind of a quick lesson, we kind of went over it quickly but these are the highlights that you should really pay attention to how to make this Hendrix grip, and we're going to be barring all six strings. The Hendrix grip I've showed you before usually mutes the A string and just plays five strings. Well, this time we're going to play all six, and it's a little more difficult. One of the licks I want you to keep in mind for both acoustic and electric work is in this A minor, this pull on and hammer off, five, seven, five, on the G string, and then back down to seven on the D string. Put that in as you like. Quick walk through G, F, the hammer on there. Another thing to really focus on is your right hand technique. You're really going to be down on the bridge of the guitar with just the edge of this knife, you know, the edge of your hand here, the knife edge, just barely touching some of these strings to do some palm muting so you can kind of get a chunkier sound. I know you can't really see that, it's kind of a feel thing. You just want it to be kind of palm muting those low strings to get a nice nice thunk going. And uh, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, he uses a wah pedal in the song, especially on Abbey Road and a, uh, a pickup here in his acoustic. But if you got those things, sure, it sounds great, it'll be really cool. If you don't, totally no need to worry about it. It won't make or break the song, just an effect. Well, that should get you moving on Volcano by Damien Rice. Remember, Volcano Damien Rice, live at Abbey Road. Um, it's a really fun song to play, especially if, you can get, uh, if, you like, if you're singing it. I think it's a really, really pretty song and would go great if you knew anyone that played violin or cello or anything like that. You know, always trying to get you out there and jam with other people because that's where you're going to learn the most is playing with other human beings that you're interacting with as you play. Change in real time is what I'm talking about here. But again, I know it was kind of, uh, kind of a quick lesson. I hope you got something out of it, and I would love to uh, do requests. So just write on the video here, give me some responses, and I hope to see you back soon. Thank you very much.